I've got the first of several Christmas hauls, so if you want to see what I picked up today, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see product reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. Because I do videos on those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into the haul. I have not done a haul for quite a while. I try not to do them anymore. I'm trying to be more conscientious of the budget. But I did want to take advantage of some of the pre-Christmas sales to kind of pick up some things and zhuzh up my Christmas supplies for the Christmas season. And whereas I haven't unpacked my Christmas boxes yet, and I will do that and let you see what I've got stored away, I do know that I needed some more picks for a few of the things that I want to do this, this Christmas season. One of them is I want to make a centerpiece, a DIY centerpiece. So, I picked up this box at Michael's. The... Um, Catherine at Amateur Decorating Like a Pro is hosting her annual My Christmas My Style Challenge and you could either do a haul, a DIY, or something else. And I thought, well, why don't I show one of my hauls to be one of my first projects? And then I'll show some of the things that I'm going to do for DIY later. So, for one of the DIY projects that I'm going to do, we'll be making a centerpiece with this box. And I got my haul from Michael's, and they have their Christmas things 40% off right now. And I have been looking at this box for several weeks. And they do have different sizes. This is the smallest size, and then there's a medium, and then there's a large. But what I wanted was this small size, because I wanted to go on the coffee table in the family room. And my husband doesn't really like a lot of stuff on that table because he uses it for his stuff. So I thought I would use this small box and create a small centerpiece to go there. And I'm probably going to use this in the Measure and Mix DIY centerpiece challenge. So that's why I got this. And it is regularly $20, but it was on sale 40% off, so I got it for $12. And this is just one of those offers I could not refuse. I just really fell in love with Christmas trees last season. I had several Christmas trees in many different places. And I wanted more. And they had these 40% off. And I just liked the look of it. And I thought, well, let me pick this one up. And I can use it in the house. Or I might even be able to use it on the porch. We'll see. But this was just an offer I couldn't refuse. But look how sweet the branches are. And of course, once it's feathered, I can add some different things to it. So I'm really excited about this purchase. And it was regularly $22. And as I said, it was 40% off. Now, one of the things that I saw at Michael's that I really wanted was kind of a, um, like a swag. But it was in this direction. And it was like $24. And I thought, I really can't afford to do that. Plus, there's probably going to be a DIY that I need to do a look for less. So I thought I would just kind of pick up some things now to try to replicate that look. So I picked up this. And it was regularly $15. And I got it on sale for $9. And so I've got this. And then some picks like these. Some picks like these that I can use to zhuzh it up a little bit. So this was on sale for $9. These picks were regularly $2.99 and I got them 40% off. So they were a, a little less than $1.50. And I, and I picked up four. One of the things that I learned last year is if you see something and you like it, if you don't get enough of it when you see it, 
has not going to be there long. So I went ahead and I got four of these. And then the particular swag that I saw that I liked had some berries in it like this. And so these berries were regularly $1.99 and they were 40% off. So I picked up three of these. And so they came down to about $1.19 each. So I've got three of these. And I just love pine cones. And so I got these two pine cone picks here. They were regularly $3.99 and again 40% off. So I got two of these. And then these pine cones were regularly 99 cents. So at 40% off, they were about 55 cents. So, and I really like these. I mean, you just can't have any kind of Christmas decor without pine cones somewhere. And I like the fact that they're tipped with snow. So I have three of those. And then I like these little sugared berries. So I picked up three of the sugared berries. So you guys are probably thinking, you got enough picks for the free world. Well, maybe. The one thing about Michaels is that I can return things. So once I get my things made, if I've got too many, I can take them back. But I didn't want to run the risk of not having enough and then having to go back and not being able to find them. So these were regularly $1.99. And at 40% off, they were about $1.19. So there's three of those. And then I picked up this bag of scented pine cones. It's got cinnamon stick in it. They just smell so good. And of course, they're very natural looking. And these will look great on any of the picks that I use. So I picked up those. So I picked up three of these. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But now that I'm beginning to do more DIY, I thought they might come in handy. And they were just 99 cents each. And of course, I needed some raffia in kind of a natural color and some floral tape to put those pieces together. So I got some of that. A package of glue sticks because we're out. And these little owls are just so cute. I picked up this one for my sister. She loves owls. And I picked up this one for us. And it, it they were regularly $5.99. So at 40% off, they were about $3.59 each. So those are going to look too sweet in an arrangement. And these are the picks that I'm probably going to use to make that swag thing with maybe. If I use these, then I'll take the other one back. But the swag was really pretty gorgeous. So there's this one, and this one was regularly $5.99, so at 40% off, it was about $3.49. And these will probably go in that box in some way. And I just really like the kind of a light dusting of flocking on the branches. And of course, the little tiny pine cones, and I will add some more. And then these were just too cute. These are little wreaths. And I saw something when I looked at Zane's home tour. He had wreaths all over his house. And I liked that. And I was thinking I would like to have these little wreaths either on some doors or on the back of a chair or on the um, railing between the kitchen and the family room. So I picked up four of these. These were regularly $12. And at 40% off, they were eight. So I have four of these. And I might even add one of the little picks to it like this in some way. So we'll see. But I was just really loving these. So I just had to get four of those. And those are all the goodies that I have on my first shopping trip for Christmas for this season. So here's my question for you. Which one of these goodies that I picked up did you find most interesting? Tell me in the comment section below. And before I go, let me take this opportunity to thank Catherine and Amateur Decorating Like a Pro for hosting this collaboration. It just really gave me the push that I needed to get out there and take advantage of some of these pre-Christmas sales while the things that I most wanted were still there. And just so you know, I've raised three children, I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, 
cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.